Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lifting with Arthritis. Uh, tired. Just got done with a really great workout. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys a health update. Uh, one of you commented that I should do more health updates, and I think that's a good idea just because this condition affects us very differently at different times. It changes all the time. Um, so with that uh, update, uh, <laughs> um, I'm actually doing very well. Um, my strength is more normal. My endurance is more normal. Um, so I've been feeling good. I've been feeling really good. But I thought this was important because one of some of you may have felt this way. So from time to time, my fingertips will bother me. Um, like when I pick something up or, or something hits my fingertip in the wrong way, it feels like I'm getting stabbed. Um, it's a sharp pain, it hurts, but only for a second. But even though I'm doing well in every w way, uh, lately my fi that pain in my fingertips have been bothering me more. Um, so much so that the other day I was working out, getting a good workout, and my joints and everything, I could lift the way I wanted to lift. But my fingertips were bothering me so much, I was almost going to give up my workout. I was like, I'm going to have to stop. Um, but luckily for me, I work out in my home gym. I work out at home in my garage. And I have my tools in my garage as well. So I was like, you know what? Let me get my my gloves so i just got some mechanics gloves that are in my toolbox that cover up and protect my fingertips and i've never had to do that before never once uh but i put these on and it allowed me to finish my workout um that was the only day it was that bad uh but today it's been bothering me but not enough to where i had to break out the gloves or anything but it, it's just been that's just a weird thing that's been happening to me lately. I didn't know if any of y'all experienced that, so I just want to let you know. The whole point of me doing these is so you know you're not alone in some of these weird things that this condition causes. Um, but outside of that, I've been doing really well. Um, also, somebody was asking about uh, vitamins and medications. I'm going to tell you the medications I'm taking. It's not a recommendation or anything like that. This is just what I take. Um, so, the, uh, I'm prescribed methotrexate, which I take. It says to take once, eight capsules once a week, but my doctor uh, said it would, might do better if I took it four tablets twice a week, and that's what I've been doing for a long time now, and that helps a lot. Um, and then I take folic acid every day, um, and then I take Plaquenil every day, twice a day. Um, outside of that, the vitamins I take, I take a lot of vitamins. There's actually another one I want to add, but I don't want to recommend it if I haven't started yet because I don't know how well it'll work. I take, um, magnesium. Let me, I take magnesium. I take zinc. Um, I mainly take those for my, uh, testosterone levels just to keep my body producing testosterone because I'm getting I'm 47 years old and typically your testosterone starts to drop and I don't want that so I take that I take those vitamins um, a research that I've done says that's supposed to help your body produce the optimum levels it can so that's what so I take those for that um, also I take fish oil I take fish oil just because everybody that has rheumatoid arthritis I've ever talked to recommends it I've never really noticed a any benefits of it but I take it can't hurt you so I take it um, and then I used to have vitamin D deficiency um, but I've also heard that most people are vitamin D deficient so I take vitamin D every day as well I take them um, the max allowable is 55,000 I use um, so that's what I take um, daily and then last but not least, I started taking this uh, about two months ago, maybe three months ago now. Uh, I take turmeric. Um, man, man, this was highly recommended. And 
Uh, a lot of people I talked to said it works right away. I didn't notice a difference right away. It took me about six weeks of taking it before I started to feel a difference. And it's awesome. So this is the, out of all the things I've talked, that I mentioned, this, this is the only one I can really recommend. Um, I don't, I ain't no doctor, I ain't trying to recommend something. But if you wanna to talk to your doctor about this, it's fantastic, turmeric. Turmeric, however you wanna pronounce it. Um, but that's it, that's what I take. Um, and uh, I have other ideas for other videos. I'm gonna do more health updates as well. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. And thanks for watching. And um, any questions, concerns, any videos you want me to make about, um, leave them in the comments. Thanks to everybody. Love, God bless.